Many school districts have been celebrating their final days of the school year. At Forest Hills, seniors will graduate tomorrow. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian shares a new tradition Turpin High School principals brought to the school. Before the seniors here at Turpin High School walk out the door for the last time, they sat down with their principal for an exit interview. All right, J.D., thanks for coming in. J.D. McManus has been at the Forest Hills School District since elementary school, and he found a sense of belonging through theater. I did theater um, all, 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 from all my four years. I did every single show. So when Turpin's principal, Andy Jados, asked this question. How would you improve Turpin High School? That sense of belonging was part of McManus's answer. I think just like a problem with um, like any high school is just getting a lot of students involved. This is one of the last exit interviews of the year. So Jado says heard it all. Cafeteria food suggestions, ways to improve parking. There definitely have been few similar to JDs um, about how to get more students involved. I know we're, uh, we're well over two thirds of our students are involved in at least in sport. But we want to make sure that we're reaching all students. And Jados already has a solution in mind. We are going to put a, um, a group together with um, teachers and students to look at the um, student involvement piece. Other questions touched on teachers that made an impact, classes students wish Turpin offered, and what the students' plans are for after graduation. Jados says they'll be compiling the answers from all of the exit interviews and sharing it with staff. Hey, JD, let's just go out there. We'll sign the board. Sounds good. All in the hopes that when the students get to the end of their time at Turpin. We want to really focus on making that school experience better for all students. At Turpin High School, Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.